you follow along as we get to planting our ginormous garden on Dannenberg Acres this year. We, uh, these are just a few of the seeds that, uh, that I grabbed that, uh, that we have been buying. Everything from stuff for the English garden that's going to be in front, more of, um, you know, for eye candy, uh, decorative type stuff. And then of course lots of different uh, vegetables, strawberries, potatoes, uh, all these seeds that we get from different places uh, online and locally. And we're going to, uh, yeah, have a massive garden. Sunflowers kind of tiered. We're going to start with the sunflowers in the back. Here's a bit of a view. Sunflowers all the way around the back of it. Uh, potatoes on the giant uh, part in the middle. Uh, strawberries up front, snap peas. And then uh, we're going to plant uh, carrots all the way along the long row. Cucumbers, lettuce types, all the different vegetable types that we like. And uh, yeah, we should have a huge um, amount. Uh, the farmer has planted the field back there in uh, canola, I'm guessing. So that'll be a giant yellow field at some point. I can already see some green popping up. And uh, things have greened out here quite a bit because uh, we've had quite a bit of this cloudy type days with some moisture, unlike last year, it was terrible. We were gonna plant um, some uh, of our potatoes in the gully here, but uh, we decided against it. We just left our uh, fire pit there. And this is a walkout for the basement down below. But anyhow, follow along uh, and, uh, and I'll show you how we Got this garden going. In a bit, time to get the rain and that worm off my seat. Dirt. Okay. Alright, this is what I went and grabbed. A couple of channel locks, crescent wrench, three ratcheting wrenches, and a half inch on my, what's this called? Spud wrench. John Deere yellow. Should be enough to get this off and the other item on. See. Never remember exactly what tools you need. How are you doing the job? weight box and comes off that easy. A couple of turnbuckles. Let's just throw these things back on so I don't lose them. Next year. Or for summertime actually not next year because in summertime I'm gonna put the uh, the weight which is also a beer box. It's actually an old cooler. I'm gonna put that cooler on when I'm cutting the grass, fill it full of beer. Okay.
kind of moving the jack around the back here. Once you get it up here a bit, you can release those. See that there? It's a lock went up there, and this thing won't go in. So you got to release that so that it will go in, but not until you get it past where it won't pop up this way. And you got to then lift it up enough to give them that hole. So usually you can do it. Lift the whole back end up before we're going to jack it. Click, click. She's in. Now you just gotta fiddle around to get these belts on the PTO here. Of course that the up circuit for this back here is the turn circuit for this here so uh, I'm going to disconnect this in order to have uh, I guess I'll put it in the middle then disconnect it right which will make this go down okay watch this take this off which I probably should it's just a heavy beast to take off of course like everything uh, and we probably want it on again but it's good to have the weight in the back for the uh, tiller you don't want the weight up front otherwise the tiller is just not going to bite in the ground at all so this pretty much has to come off messed up. I think it's been messed up.
tight. Perfect. Way tighter now. All right. Hopefully that works. Should I bother putting that on? Yeah. Like, oh, 
it's pretty good. Pretty rotten. Rotten only. I guess we'll give it a give it a twirl and then we'll just then we'll put it in the trailer. here of course uh, we had a whole bunch more stuff than this but these are uh, high-end type seeds Johnny selected seeds here they come in these little uh, vials that are uh, germinated so they have a germinated 95% uh, they test them certain lot number there and then uh, here's another batch of these little guys here that's uh, lavenderia and then we got uh, all kinds of different uh, lettuces we have uh, chives Different lettuce against spinach. Um, we have some uh, different pl plants too that we're going to also make the front of it like an English garden. And then uh, we have this really good um, ash mix uh, flower bloom 
uh, stuff that we added in, of course, along with our own uh, compost from last year that we made, uh, and the um, both from the horses. What are we making, Rob? A showcase of manure. Manure fertilizer? Yeah. And here's four bags. Perfect. I was telling Asha. That's me, that's like all of us. <laughs> yeah, she, I remember it. She was like, okay. <laughs> and there you go, Robert. Okay. And from uh, Kitchen Foodstuffs. So anyhow, this is what's going in the garden. Let's go get her done. Those are actually seeds going in the ground. You can't see them. We're not pretending. Look. Is there butter lettuce? Butter lettuce. Same color as the ground. There Look, there's one right there. Do any more steaks? Lettuce, lettuce. Things coming up, I saw. Oh, look at what's this? Green onions. Green onions. Is the... What's this? Actually, not bad. Oh, all right. Well, let's move that pot over here too, so when my mom comes, it looks nice. Azalea that died. It's got some high quality planting. <laughs> yeah. I have it just trickling. Want more? This one you gotta you got these tines down here, one on each side, and that sets how far it's gonna go left and right. So you can have it go 30, 360 if you put them set them both all the way back here. Plant the 360. Here we want uh, them to go side to side. We got our our garden is kind of oblong here, longer than it is wide. So we want to shoot it as far as possible from that side to that side. 
so if we set these pretty much at 90 uh, on each side that should do it and then this item here it, uh, it the spray hits that screw head and either it shoots straight on the one pass or it shoots across the screw head and the more you screw that in the bigger the uh, fan on the on the return pass so here I'll turn that on and we'll make some adjustments one on this side too soon and this one too late so I'm going to pull this one back and we'll let this one go that way a bit oh the wrong way this one go this way and this one go other way there we go now and all the way to the end and stopping oh still a little fur a little more that way it goes a little more this way Perfect, all the way to the end there, coming all the way back and right to that edge. Got to work with the wind a bit here too because we're in a wide open space and the wind will carry it. So right now the wind is blowing it even further that way. If we had no wind at all we might set it up over there on that end of the garden going that way. But generally there's a wind so we'll set it up here it goes with the wind coming from the west. that uh, soon to be sunset. I have a beautiful sunset time lapse for the end of this video. Come on Lassie. Come on. Danica. 